Alright guys, welcome back to the tutorial. By now you should be done making your drawer holders. So if you're not done with it, I'm still going to show you how to do it. You can do this by duplicating it and moving it along the Z axis and then duplicating it again and moving it along the Z axis. Then parenting the drawer cover 2 to the next one and drawer cover 3 to the next one. And then parenting this to the table head. It's still gonna work. But actually this is to me a longer way of doing it. You can do this by using a modifier that's going to take time to give you the accurate positioning and also save you time which is the array modifier go down to your add modifier then go to array modifier the array modifier seems to duplicate or mirror objects but according to the name it brings out instances of objects that the array modifier is being applied to so now here is the array count and right now it's being array in the x direction so if i increase the count it's going to increase the number of the objects along this particular axis which is the factor these are x y and z okay so let's bring it just down to two then if you put in zero on the x axis and then put in one on the y axis you are going to have the array starts on the y axis and goes further all right so in our position and where we are now we need it to be on the z axis so now this is what we have and we need only three so increasing this will increase where the array objects goes to and this factor here which is the relative offsets at z axis is not only limited to positive numbers you can impute negative number like minus 10 and it reverses the direction of the array object so you can increase this to fit where you want it to be based on this first object okay so now if you move this everything moves alongside with it simple and clear but the issue is that if you move this along y axis it's only the drawer that was parented to it that will be moved so now what we need to do is let's take this up and by the way the array are in order if we move this down we've noticed a significant change in the position and if we move this up let me collapse this so it can be easier to move if we move this up we've also noticed some change in it if we swap this mirror and subdivision we are going to notice some change what it's actually telling blender is mirror this object first before you subdivide it that's what it tells blender and if you take this up the interpretation is subdivide this object first before you mirror it so this modifier stacks are in order and if you want to apply them you need to apply them from top to bottom because you can't come here so the best operation is to apply from the top for these drawer holders to be independent on their own or to move freely on their own with this array modifier needs to be applied and before you apply the array modifier you need to apply the modifiers above it so to do that click on the first modifier which is the subdivision modifier you can apply it by clicking on this drop down and then click on apply there's also a shortcut for it Control a but you have to keep your mouse pointer at the modifier stack that you want to apply to the selected mesh because if you come over here and click on Control a you are going to have this scale location and um, rotation application but if you come over here and click on Control a it applies the subdivision and you're going into edit mode you are going to see the subdivisions that has been applied all right so do the same thing for the mirror apply it and then apply this array modifier when you apply this array modifier you can now select the mesh go into edit mode select all of them and click on p to separate this time not by selection but by loose parts so all of them become independent all right so now you can select the drawer cover and select the holder and ctrl p to apply select this select this one ctrl p to apply and you can rename you can rename this clicking on f2 select it and click on f2 say let's just give it a name drawer holder 2 and this was supposed to be drawer holder 1 and this drawer holder 3 all right so now everything now moves along okay all right we need to test this to be sure in case our model needs to go for into animation all right so now we are done with the table and hang around to see how we are going to texture it in the next tutorial.
Thank you.